All right, you guys, it's a beautiful day here in West Vancouver. We are here at 4129 Burke Hill Road, uh, and this is not your average Roads Untraveled video, okay? When do we do luxury home tours? Never, <laughs> until today. Um, but we've got a couple cars that we'll also be driving, uh, so stay tuned for that. Let's go on inside and see if we can find our good friend Jesse somewhere. It might take a while, it's a big house. Uh, if you guys remember from a couple years back, uh, we filmed a 720S review and I drove Jesse's 720S. Uh, I also drove his i8 uh, and probably don't know this, but in my spare time, I really do enjoy going on YouTube and uh, a lot of the channels I'm subscribed to are like luxury home tours. Um, usually not here in Vancouver, usually in LA. This is, so, this is so nuts. Okay, we'll go to the second floor where hopefully we'll find Jesse. We're in our central elevator and look at this. If you face forward, you face south. Here's me, just a kid from the burbs going up, <laughs> going up this glass elevator. Uh, we've got a beautiful view of English Bay here, uh, downtown Vancouver, the harbor. We got UBC in the distance there. Uh, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay, push the door open. See if Jesse's here. I feel so out of place here. This is not, this is not me. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that. I just realized how big that painting is on the wall there. What's going on, bud? What's going on, Marcus? Good to see you. Yeah, long time no see, bro. Usually when I see you, you're, you know, hopping out of a McLaren and we're not, this is your world. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm in luxury real estate, so this is pretty much up my alley and Obviously today we're actually not doing a super exotic car. To fit a house like that, we actually brought my own Rolls Royce Wraith. Yeah, I think this is our, I just counted actually on your way up, seventh video? Is it our seventh video? Yeah, this is our seventh video. Oh my God. So we're going to show you guys, if you want to stick around till the end of the video, I think if we can, we can, if they want to see the rest of the house, I think we should show them. Of course, yeah. All right. So we can actually have Marcus experience kind of the, the ultra-rich West Vancouver uh, lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So obviously this house is in West Vancouver, which is the most affluent community in all of Canada and one of the most expensive. And this is actually a 9.9, it's just under $10 million house with the gorgeous view, infinity edge pool, and this glass, this glass bridge, right? And actually the best part is where we're about to go to, which is underneath. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys watching at home have ever seen anything like this, uh, but here in the luxury home world, like, is this, this is a, a turntable for your car. Is this something we see every day? Or it's you not see something it? that you see every day, but for West Vancouver, most of the view homes are on a pretty steep slope, and there's not a lot of space for the car to be, to do a 3.4 point turn, right? So, perfect for a car person, and it's perfect for um, driveways that are relatively smaller. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like Twinkie's car in Tokyo Drift when they come out of the parking garage. It spins around. It's not quite like exactly. that. Exactly. Well, if you're super skilled, you can just do a donut here, right? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does it for you. Oh, uh, that's the next video, dude. We do a donut on the turntable. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Marcus is used to driving cars very, very fast, so I wanted to give him something that's not meant to drive fast and see how he feels, see if he likes it. So I know this is your first experience driving an ultra luxury car. Keys are inside. You know, break a leg, have fun. I might get Let bored, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun. I might fall asleep, thanks. I will. Wraith boys. I'm in like a rap video. Got the nice orange leather on here. Wow, the door closes itself. All right, you guys. Big bank ball in. <laughs> we are in a Rolls Royce Wraith the big body, two door, big baller, Wraith, okay? Uh, shares the BMW 7 Series platform, um, but this is basically one of the last Rolls Royces to uh, be sitting down on this platform. Uh, in fact, the new Ghost that's coming out that just got announced for 2021, I believe, uh, is going to be on the all new aluminum space frame chassis. So it will no longer be on the kind of older style BMW chassis that this one sits on here. Now under the hood is a 6.6 .6 liter twin turbo V12. And that's partially why I wanted to shoot this video today uh, be, is because 
This is one of the last twin turbo V12s uh, in existence. Obviously, Mercedes had a twin turbo V12 as well in some of their older models, the S65 in particular, and those are slowly being phased out. Uh, the end of dinosaur burning fossil fuels is coming to a close here in our lifetime. Uh, and cars like these, big, big body luxury cars uh, like the Wraith, are getting harder and harder to find. Now, this is a Series 1 model. Rolls-Royce is generally a brand where you're in the back seat, sipping champagne, uh, and you have a driver, okay? You're on your phone, and you've got a higher driver uh, that is taking care of you. You know, you're. <laughs> it's one of the most comfortable experiences, so naturally, you'd want to be in the back seat, right? Uh, or traditionally in like a Ghost or something like that, one of the four-door models, that would be your experience. That's what the prestige of the brand uh, is about. But the Wraith is here to show you that uh, uh, you can have a Rolls-Royce with two doors that you yourself might want to drive. Uh, Rolls-Royce has been around for well over 100 years. Now, the Ghost, you guys saw parked in the back of the driveway there, that was based on basically the Rolls-Royce, the 1906 Silver Ghost. I mean, it's a priceless artifact at this point, a vehicle that's over 100 years old. That's just so insane to me. Although it is not, it doesn't have racing pedigree. Well, actually they do, <laughs> that's wrong. Rolls-Royce does definitely have racing pedigree, but their cars are not like race cars for the road, right? McLaren nowadays, obviously the F1 was the birth of that, but McLaren nowadays is like race car for the road. That's what the Senna is. That's what the 720S is. Um, and that's what the 765 LT is, right? things like that. Uh, Rolls-Royce has gone a completely diff different direction uh, in the luxury space. Yes, they compete with Bentley, but Bentley also has vehicles that are really good on the track or good. They're still, you know, they weigh as much as literally these yachts we see <laughs> to the left of us. Um, but they've, they've made attempts to put wings on and to do really aggressive, weird things with luxury cars that shouldn't have those things on them, right? Whereas Rolls-Royce stays far, very far away from that. That is not something Rolls-Royce even entertains. And that is exactly why they have stayed at the top of peak luxury in the automotive world for 100 years. You guys probably know, but instead of attack, on the gauge cluster there, we have a power reserve. So it actually, as you roll on the throttle, it will let you know uh, how much power you have left on tap. Oh my God, it's so wide. We almost clipped that bus right there. <laughs> We've got a cliff on the right side. We've got the country club on the left. This is not my world. <laughs> oh my God. I'm really tempted to come up to some people, roll down the window and get them to guess what I do for a living. I mean, uh, it won't really work because we have a GoPro on the top. They'll be like, you're a famous YouTuber. Incredibly light steering, um, really quiet. I mean, for one of the last V12 twin turbo engines ever produced, I mean, they're made for torque, right? Okay, so 6.6 .6 liters. I believe this one here in the Wraith has about 624 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. Now that 590 pound-feet of torque or thereabouts is at 1500 RPM. Now again, there is no tack here. That is not a concern, nor is it usually in a car without a tack, you hear the revs and then you shift and you feel out the car. This is a car that you, you're not meant to feel. You know what you're meant to feel? You're meant to have a couple passengers here and be having a great conversation. That's what you're meant to feel. You're not meant to feel the road. Oh, it just floats. People notice it. And they do not expect me, the little 18 year old looking dude <laughs> with a big smile on his face. Um, they do not expect me to be driving this, but that's the thing about Rolls Royce. There's a bit of mystery, you know, it might be some wannabe rapper behind the wheel that's rented it for the weekend, or it might be an incredibly important person that's on their way to receiving a Nobel prize or something. I don't, I don't know why I said that, <laughs> but it's true. It's such that, especially if you tint the windows, you'll never know, you know, your guess is as good as mine. I've never seen gauges move so lethargic in my life. For real. All right, we're gonna give it a boot here. 
see what 600 plus horsepower can do. Oh yeah. Little bit of noise, not much, but it's smooth. Wow, it's actually really quick. You don't feel the turbos really at all. You don't feel anything. You don't feel the torque like surge in the back of your spine that you would expect. All right, 20% power reserve left. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. All right, what do we have here? Um, iDrive absolutely looks dated. It looks garbage in here. But Rolls-Royce has done a really good job. This is what this is what you do. What the heck does this do? You've got like a knob that comes out here to adjust. Ah, that adjusts how much air comes through the vents. Uh, and actually when you turn off the car, I don't, maybe you can do it in here if you have a, there's a button in here to do that. Uh, but a thing will come down here a cover to actually cover up the screen so you don't have to look at it. Of course, you've got the analog clock over there that says Wraith, but that's the that's the great thing that Rolls has done design-wise. It's an ultra-modern luxury car, but they've kept the analog gauges because luxury is timeless, okay? And that's why you can cover up the screen. That's why there's an analog clock. It's because when you look at a vehicle like this uh, and some of the old, newer Ghosts or Dawns that you look inside, uh, you'll see you're able to cover up the tech because tech changes so quickly. The automobile does not, okay? Uh, and it has not for a very long time. Sure, they may be, become more autonomous, more electric vehicles start coming out. Uh, God, hope we don't see an electric Rolls Royce anytime soon. Just to say you have a twin turbo V12. Oh, wow, is that a DB5? Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, wow, that just made my day. <laughs> that just made me. He just one upped us. He just 10 upped us. Wow. I did not think I was going to get beat on this drive, but a DB5 just passed us. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Look at that. Pinky. Steering through the traffic circle with my pinky. That's the first time I've said pinky on Roads Untraveled. <laughs> Not a whole lot of body roll. Oh my. The Toyota Century, if you guys know the Century, a uh, car we filmed a few weeks back, made only specifically for the Japanese domestic market. So much body roll. That was, I mean, that car and this car are very closely matched, although the Century is a much smaller car, a lot easier to drive. Conti GT right there. Um, but this is actually very planted because it is on that seven series platform it has a bit of that bmw kind of sports feel at the heart of it i mean you feel like a baller you really do it's a mindset you guys being rich is a mindset that's what they'll tell you that's what they'll tell you <laughs> take that for what you will There we have it. All right, Jesse. What's up? First off, I want to ask you like 720 to this. Yeah. What are not only the driving styles, obviously very different, but like, what do people notice? What do you pe notice about what other people see on the road when you're driving these? Yeah. So first of all, I usually like to keep like a GT everyday daily driver and a supercar on the side. So like this car wouldn't be compared to a 720. I usually have like another sports car that I can drive around. So they serve completely different purposes. A lot of my friends know about this. I used to hate on Rolls Royces all the time. I used to don't like as a car person. I'm like, I sure. don't understand it. You know, it's a boat. It's so big. And you don't feel anything. Exactly. You're just kind of laid back. Exactly. But the older I get, the more I appreciate a car like this. When I drive the 720, yeah, people see like a younger Asian dude driving the car around Vancouver they assume that yeah this is daddy's money like uh, they throw middle finger up they kind of like when I stop at a stoplight people will, um, will yell at me for no reason and people just kind of treat you with hate mm -hmm. people kind of like see they get mad at you for no reason but when I drive a Rolls Royce around I've noticed that people treat me with respect and people kind of see you as someone that's you know what You've made it, right? It's it, I haven't I, I haven't made it myself. I'm not <laughs> right. saying that I have, but like people kind of treat you differently as opposed to when you're driving a car 
like a, like an invented door or 720s around. People still think you're a, you're a kid that haven't had. You were it up. was given to you. Kind it of was thing. given to you. Yeah, but right. when I get out of this car, and that's the other thing, right? Because I was thinking about we're gonna shoot the Rolls Royce video. Should I put on a suit? Died. <laughs> you should have. And then I, I'm like, yeah, I should have. But at the same time, I don't like literally. You don't. It doesn't matter what you wear when you get out of this car. People kind of see you as, you know what, this guy can wear a whatever the hell he wants. A robe and socks, you know, exactly. you're coming so out. So I was like, you know what, I don't really wear a suit and tie everywhere I go. So That's the definition of being... F.U. money. <laughs> well, not so much <laughs> F.U. money, but you feel a lot more comfortable and on the street. When you see somebody that's, you know, revving their engine, doing some burnouts, like see you kind of saying uh, mad stuff. You kind of, you get pissed off when you're in a sports car, so it's like, yeah, let's go. But I'm driving a Rolls Royce because how quiet it is on the inside. And uh, when people do that kind of stuff, you, you're really calm. It kind of cures road rage, you know? Like, you're like, you know, you can do your thing. I'm just gonna cruise around town in this, uh, in the serenity of, of the interior of this cabin. Yeah, more relaxed. Yeah. Exactly. You know, you're a little bit more relaxed. Speaking of uh, the interior here, if you guys remember our Nissan Pulsar video, <laughs> I don't know if there's a Nissan Pulsar. It has the same, I, they stole it from Rolls Royce, basically. What? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so it's no longer, um, so cool. Unique to the Rolls Royce. Yeah, that umbrella, if you lose it, it's like a few thousand dollars to replace. The option is like 20 grand or something. It's crazy because it actually has a heating system in here. So when it's wet, you can Get just stick here. it in and That's it a $20,000 option. Yeah, it's a $20,000 option or something like that. Yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah very expensive <laughs> option. And actually, my wife was saying we should uh, hide this umbrella at home because it's expensive and order like a cheap $50 one from China, you know, and put it in there. <laughs> yeah, that's the smart <laughs> that's thing to do. That's probably smarter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Take it away, Jesse. This, okay. the, we're done with the rolls. Show me the house. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna start on the first floor. So this is when you enter from the outside, when you get out of your Rolls Royce Wraith. <laughs> <It's just laughs> or Supra, Jesse, or, don't or, discriminate. Or Supra or um, you know Honda Civic. I love all cars. I had a Civic Type R, actually. I don't know if you, uh, you've driven that car before. No, I've um, never driven a Civic Type R. Yeah. The new one. Um, so yeah, so this is actually the, the entertainment room where you can have some people over, you know, play some poker. Um, and got a wet bar over there. And this is actually one of the coolest part of the house because look at this home theater. Watch the movies and watch the Super Bowl or oh, something. Oh, wow. Look at this, right? Oh, you've got a bar up here too? Yeah, you can just kick back. Wow. You know? Yeah, enjoy one of the ball games with, with some buddies. You know, it's, it's perfect. It's, every luxury home needs to have a Kit Kat's home theater. And you this could, home definitely has one. I was going to say, you could hear the, the acoustics. It's like yeah. super quiet in here. There's no echo in And Ashley, can you find speakers? Do you see the speakers? Uh, nope. All right, you don't see the speakers. It's actually behind here. Behind. Yeah. So how many bedrooms, how, what, how many beds and baths do we got in here? So up here is four of them. As you can see, the two smaller bedrooms for your kids actually, it's got a crazy ocean view as well. Wow, okay. And on the third floor, uh, yeah, you can pretty much see anywhere from, from UBC all the way to um, downtown Vancouver. And also you got a balcony here as well. So, so is this symmetrical? Are these rooms symmetrical on either side here? Yeah, yeah. Both of these rooms, both of the smaller rooms are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Actually, this house has got two master bedrooms. Let's visit this one first. This one's exactly the same as the other one. Okay. So this one is your secondary master bedroom. <laughs> so it's uh, very wide open and you can have one of the crazier views of the house. You just come out here. You can actually see like all the way from over there. Like you can see the Bowen Islands, wow. UBC, all the way to downtown Vancouver. So Stanley yeah. Park, say hi to your friends on the seawall. Exactly and just come into this secondary master bathroom. Actually, when you're um, you know, in here in the morning and you're just taking a bath, obviously, I understand privacy is very important, but you're at the very top, so nobody can see you, right? So obviously, the designer, David Christopher, and the builder, Premier One Properties, spent a long time making everything um, the way it is. It's, it's, it's designed very well, and actually, it's... Um, it was built 
very quickly. Actually, when you, when you talk about luxury builds, sometimes it takes two, three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. This home was built in 13 months from inception to completion because wow. us at Luxury Listings, we actually followed this project at the very beginning when this is still like just with the wood frame and everything mm -hmm. and it actually turned into this masterpiece in the span of I think five or six months when we started looking at this so it's remarkable how fast Premier One Properties Omid Amadi was able to build this uh, beautiful ego home so this is um, the master bedroom the real obviously. master the real this, master yeah. <laughs> um, it's if you just stand over here you can kind of see like when you wake up oh, come over here Marcus so when you like when you wake up in the morning right this is what you see this yeah. is why this is the master bedroom because yeah. you see everything right you feel like you're on the top of the world and that's what david christopher and, and omid at premier one properties what they were trying to accomplish and i think they did a very good job yeah yeah i mean and too with like you see ubc over there and with yeah. the sloped kind of uh ceiling there going exactly. towards it kind of directs it towards downtown in a weird way exactly it's like angle towards downtown mm -hmm. you can see all the way from ubc with the water that's uh the third floor i think it's uh these bath uh these bedrooms showcases the best feature of this home which is the crazy views very very well so if any of you are interested in this home you guys can reach out to at premier one properties premier underscore one underscore properties or luxury underscore listings which is the account that we own you guys can shoot us a follow i know you showed me this like really cool reel you guys made yeah um like you know quick clips and stuff it's like millions of views yeah so like, it's it's uh, people love looking at luxury homes and yeah you know uh for me i've i've always a lot of people know me for for being a car collector like a car person but mm -hmm. Real estate's been my passion and, and my main source of income over the past seven, eight years. I love luxury real estate. I'm glad you were uh, here to experience it. And I feel like for all the luxury and exotic cars moving forward, we should start at one of these luxury properties and I can hook you up, right? So. <laughs> 100, 100%. I mean, yeah. you got to fit the car with the setting, right? Exactly, exactly. You know? Yeah, so I mean, anyone wants that wants to come check out this house, if you're interested in buying it or any other luxury real estate, mainly in the West Vancouver or um, Vancouver area, you guys can contact us and especially uh, please follow us at luxury underscore listing. So. All right. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for coming. We'll see you soon. All right. See you very soon, my man. Anyways, you guys, this has been a quick drive in a Series 1 Rolls-Royce Wraith. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. As far as a twin-turbo V12 front-engine rear-wheel drive sedan, uh, and, you know, even used Series 1 models like this are... Uh, you know, still right around $200,000 or more. Brand new, you're paying close to half a million dollars for one of these, and you're probably saying to yourself, I could easily buy a townhouse or an apartment for that much. Not here, not in Vancouver, not in West Vancouver. So everything, everything is in context, okay? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. Hit up Jesse, hit up me on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. We'll see you soon. The Rolls Royce definitely elicits a big fucking react. That kid loves it. <laughs> that guy loved it. It's the spirit of ecstasy, guys. It's the spirit of ecstasy.